Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be going over something called knot theory. Today it's just going to be a simple introduction, and of course this is not based off trigonometry. Um, the past few videos I made were on trigonometry, but this one we're going to stray off a little bit and we're going to go into knot theory. Now what knot theory is, is you have su some sort of string, and this is the first type of knot that you can make. It's called the trivial knot. And let's say that there's something that's attaching them right here. Now you can un unattach this at any time. So it could just become something like this, just a normal string. However, then you can manipulate it in a certain way and put it back together to become something else. Now, we define knots as some sort of thing that cannot be simplified anymore. So a certain type of knot such as this one, which is known as the trefoil knot, has its own name because it can't be simplified anymore. For example, we could do something to the trefoil knot, so I'm going to try to draw another one. Alright, here's a really bad trefoil knot. But let's say that we extended this part right here and we pulled it all the way out, and then we twisted it. And by twisting it, so I'm going to try to make a good example of a twist, like this. So we have a twist right here, and but it's still the same knot, because you can eventually simplify it down to the trefoil knot. So essentially what this means is that the knots, if a knot has its own name, usually it's actually just a knot that can't be simplified anymore. Now you may be wondering how we're even how we even know when a knot is fully simplified. Well simply we use three different steps and we have to check and if this knot has any of these things in it. And if it does we can simplify it further. So a person by the name of Kurd Reidmeister came up with a, a way to simplify knots using only three simple moves. One of them is the twist. So let's say there's some sort of loop right here, and we want to get rid of it. Well, we can simply just pull it, and it'll become a normal string. The second basic move is moving one strand of a string completely over the other to make two separate strands. And the last one assumes that if you have a crossing, say right here, and you have a string that is underneath or on top of it, it doesn't matter because without loss of generality, we can actually change this, and which it, it's basically common sense. You can move the top string, this string right here, down to the bottom of the crossing so that it's now right here. So these were the basic moves that Reidmeister figured out, and we now call these the Reidmeister moves. These moves are extremely important when you want to figure out if a knot is simplifiable, and you can discover new, no new knots in this way. That's it for today's video. Now, in the next video, we're going to have a part two of knot theory, and we're going to be going over some other things. We might be even going over uh, knot theory notation, which is a way to express knots using a certain type of notation. So you can draw a knot just using numbers. Thanks for watching.